you know, to be able to walk through our vision. Mm -hmm. And, we, you know, we just, we're just we just thinking about revitalizing that program. So uh, my retreat starts on Monday to Wednesday. So what we're trying to do is to see that if we can utilize the instrument of NYC, Godney as a CDS group, mm -hmm. Godney as a community development service group, and then with, with the development service group in the States, we can reach every community in this country and take leadership development to them and begin to impact their mindsets and begin to transform their thinking. I believe that if we, that's the focus for next year, for our non-profit work, you know what I mean? And, you know, this requires a lot of capital to be able to accomplish. And my belief is that we'll be able to attract the capital from all over the world and, and we'll be able to reach out to the people and make more impact at a local level. If there's any other time, no, this is the time. most important time yes. that investment in leadership capital will thrive. In fact, America as a government spends $180 billion um, to invest in leadership every year. I mean, in 2013, I was selected. I was among the 27 people selected from all over the world, and they brought us to America, Washington, D.C., to study w about what makes America great. For one month, we're in America, traveling America, to understudy what leadership has done to the good of America, leadership development, and we saw the investment. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, as a person, as an organization, as an institution, that is why we have established the most comprehensive leadership center in the country. Mm -hmm. You are aware of that. Yeah. And our drive is to make sure that every community in this country, every group will understand what leadership is about. Because once we know leadership is strength, leadership mm -hmm. is growth, leadership is progress, our mindset will change. Then we'll begin to lead at the individual level and then lead, lead at the community level and at the group level, the business level, and then things will begin to work differently. Wow. I, 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 I think that's the way to go. Wow. Uh, what would be your advice to the Nigerian youth? Because it, it, also, it's, it will boil down to the Nigerian youth at the end of the day. Okay, great. So if you're listening to me right now as a Nigerian young person, um, I was only 19 years old when I took responsibility for leadership development in Nigeria. And it's 25 years. 25 years of work and see where we are today. So I advise you, the first thing you must do is to discover yourself. Self-discovery is the beginning of leadership development. <laughs> have, you, have you not seen the fish swimming? When the fish is in water, the very best of the fish is, is, is celebrated, you know? If the eagle is in the sky, you see the eagle flying. So why don't you be growing from your area of strength? Don't allow anybody to confuse you. you. It is better you're a fashion designer, a tailor, and that's your area of strength, and you lead from there. That's the first thing, self-discovery. Second thing is that you must learn how to develop yourself. Personal development must be part of your daily life. Every segment of your life requires growth. Your, your, your personal life requires growth. So you must you know, take it as a matter of urgency to invest in your personal development. Even if you don't have money, data is free right now. Data is almost free. I mean, you can get data anywhere and spend time listening to other people, investing in other people, and guess what? At the end of the day, once your personal development is in place, your self-actualization process starts. And once you are in the field of self-actualization, as you develop and grow, then you get your self-mastery. Once you get to self-mastery, I can tell you, you can convert your skills to resources anytime, any day. So, this country belongs to all of us. You must, as a young person, take responsibility in your space. Become someone society will be proud of. Be relevant. Be somebody of value. And once you are relevant, society will, um, will welcome you. And uh, its life is not actually very easy. As a young person, you might start, you will fail. What do you do? Don't blame yourself. Rise. Dust yourself. And learn from the experience. And take a dive again. Until one day you stabilize and you become. I want to let you know, you have to first of all become before you start doing. The becoming process is solid. And then begin to execute aggressively your ideas because the dreams come true. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you so much for being a right on Rejoice. We will not stop inviting you. We will have the opportunity to sit with you again because the subject of leadership is a forever thing. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. It's been an amazing moment talking about leadership. 
personal growth and development with Dr. Linus Okorie. Um, it's been it's been also wonderful having you on Rights and Rejoice. I look forward to seeing you next time.